Have you ever wondered about the intricate rituals surrounding a simple cup of Chinese tea? In China, tea is more than just a hot beverage. It is a cultural institution, a symbol of respect and a medium of artistic expression. The elaborate tea ceremonies, particularly in regions like Fujian and Yunnan, are a testament to this rich tradition. The ritual of tea brewing is not only about the preparation of a drink, it's a celebration of harmony, respect, purity, and tranquility. Every detail, from the selection of tea leaves to the pouring of hot water, is performed with precision and care. The tea ceremony is a dance, an art form, a meditation. It's a moment to appreciate the beauty of simplicity and the tranquility of silence. So, the next time you sip on a cup of Chinese tea, remember that you are partaking in an age-old ritual, a symbol of cultural heritage. Indeed, a cup of tea in China is not merely a beverage, but a symbol of harmony and tranquility. From family gatherings to gambling circles, one game holds a place of honor in Chinese society, mahjong. This traditional Chinese game, played with beautifully engraved tiles, has achieved iconic status and is woven into the fabric of Chinese culture. Mahjong is more than just a game, it's a social event that brings people together. It's common to see groups engrossed in a game at family gatherings, local tea houses, and even in parks. The game's intricate rules and strategic gameplay create a shared experience that transcends generations and social boundaries. But it's not just about the competition. The clatter of the tiles, the shared laughter, and the sense of camaraderie all contribute to the game's charm. It's a way for people to connect, engage, and maintain relationships. Even in the world of gambling, Mahjong holds a unique place. The game's reliance on skill rather than pure luck makes it a favorite among those seeking a challenge. Mahjong is not just a game in China, but a social institution that brings people together. Have you ever witnessed the vibrant spectacle of a Chinese lion dance? This captivating performance is more than just a visual treat. It is a dance steeped in symbolism and cultural significance. The lion, a mythological creature in Chinese folklore, is revered for its power and majesty. In the dance, performers don vibrant lion costumes, their movements mimicking the creature's strength and agility. The intricate choreography is not just for show. Each step, each leap, each shake of the lion's mane carries meaning. The dance is believed to usher in good luck and prosperity, a reflection of the lion's status as a symbol of strength and resilience. But the dance serves another purpose too. It's seen as a ritual to ward off evil spirits. The lion's fierce visage and the loud beats of the accompanying drums serving as a powerful deterrent. Through the lively movements of the lion dance, Chinese culture celebrates prosperity, good luck, and protection against evil spirits. In Chinese culture, the past is never truly gone, thanks to the tradition of ancestor worship. This significant aspect of the culture is a tangible bridge between generations, serving as a means to honor and remember those who came before. Families perform rituals, make offerings, and burn incense to pay their respects, ensuring the memory and wisdom of their ancestors continue to guide them. Central to this practice are the ancestral tablets, Inscribed with the names of departed loved ones, these tablets are not just inanimate objects. They are the embodiment of the ancestral spirit, a vessel for the living to communicate with the past, to seek guidance, and to express gratitude. Often housed in a sacred space within homes or temples, these tablets are a constant reminder of the cyclical nature of life, the continuity of family lineage, and the enduring influence of the past on the present. Ancestor worship in China is a profound link between the present and the past, a testament to the culture's deep reverence for its heritage. In China, red is not just a color, it's a symbol of good fortune. The vibrancy of red is a visual manifestation of auspiciousness, joy, and prosperity, deeply ingrained in the Chinese cultural psyche. It's a hue that weaves itself into the fabric of daily life, punctuating significant moments and celebrations. One of the most fascinating traditions that highlight the significance of red is the gifting of red envelopes or hongbao. These red packets, often filled with money, become a ubiquitous sight during Chinese New Year, weddings, and birthdays. The act of giving and receiving hongbao is more than a mere exchange of gifts. It's a symbolic gesture, a wish for good luck, happiness, and a way to ward off any malevolent spirits that might be lurking around. So the next time you see a burst of red in a Chinese setting, Remember, it's not just about the color. In Chinese culture, red is a beacon of good luck, happiness, and protection against evil spirits. How much would you go to preserve your social reputation? In China, this concept is known as maintaining face. It's an integral part of Chinese interpersonal relationships, 
deeply rooted in societal norms and etiquette. This unwritten rule of preserving one's face revolves around avoiding embarrassment, maintaining respect, and upholding harmony within social circles. It's not just about personal pride or dignity, but also about the collective reputation of one's family, or even company. Face can be lost, saved, or given to others, and these transactions often influence the social dynamics and communication patterns in China. It's like a delicate dance of diplomacy, where direct confrontation is avoided, indirect language is preferred, and public criticism is often frowned upon. The concept of face extends beyond the individual, influencing business negotiations, social gatherings, and even international relations. In China, face is more than just a reputation. It's a social currency that shapes interpersonal dynamics. Imagine your life being influenced by the luck of numbers. In Chinese culture, this is a reality. Here, numbers carry more than just quantitative value. They're imbued with symbolic significance. This belief is deeply rooted in the culture, influencing everything from daily routines to significant life decisions. Let's delve into the world of number superstitions. The number eight, for instance, is considered exceptionally lucky. The reason, its pronunciation in Mandarin, ba, is phonetically similar to efe, which means wealth or prosper. Therefore, it's not uncommon to see this number featured prominently in business transactions, addresses, and even phone numbers. Conversely, the number four is often avoided, as it sounds similar to the word for death. This superstition is so strong that some buildings in China skip the fourth floor altogether, going straight from floor three to five. In the realm of Chinese culture, numbers hold power, guiding decisions from housing to business. In China, healthcare goes beyond modern medicine, reaching back to ancient practices. This is where traditional Chinese medicine, or TCM, comes into the picture. For thousands of years, TCM has been a cornerstone of Chinese culture and health practices. One of the key aspects of TCM is acupuncture, an ancient technique involving the insertion of fine needles at specific points on the body to balance the flow of energy, or qi, and promote healing. Another core element is the use of herbal remedies, often used in conjunction with acupuncture to treat a wide range of ailments. But TCM isn't just about treating illnesses. It's a holistic approach to health, focusing on maintaining the balance of yin and yang, the two fundamental forces of the universe according to Chinese philosophy. This balance is believed to be crucial to maintaining good health and preventing disease. Traditional Chinese medicine is a testament to China's holistic approach to health, balancing body, mind, and spirit. Imagine aligning your environment to harmonize with natural elements. This is the philosophy of feng shui. Rooted in ancient wisdom, feng shui is a practice that influences architecture and interior design throughout China. It's an art of placement, where structures are thoughtfully arranged to create a resonating energy field with the natural world. The goal of feng shui is to invite prosperity and positive energy into living spaces. It's about arranging furniture, choosing colors, and incorporating symbols that align with the five elements of wood, fire, earth, metal, and water. The aim is to establish a harmonious flow of qi, or life force, throughout the space. In essence, feng shui is a testament to how Chinese culture values the relationship between people and their environment. It's a way of living and building that's in tune with the ebb and flow of nature's rhythms. Feng shui in Chinese culture is a delicate dance of energies, harmonizing life with the natural world. In China, who you know can often be more important than what you know. Welcome to the world of Guanxi. Guanxi is a complex web of social connections and relationships that serves as the backbone of Chinese social and business interactions. It's not merely about networking or social climbing. It's a dynamic and nuanced system that values long-term relationships and mutual trust. Building and maintaining Guanxi is a delicate art. It involves a balance of reciprocity, face-saving, and the cultivation of personal relationships. It's not uncommon to see business deals sealed over dinner tables or family gatherings, where the lines between professional and personal blur. This intricate dance of connections facilitates mutual benefits, cooperation, and smooth transactions. It's a testament to the Chinese philosophy of harmony and interconnectedness. In China, Guanxi is more than a network. It's a social fabric that binds the society together. From the intricate web of connections in Guanxi, we now delve into the realm of Chinese artistry. Welcome to the world of Chinese calligraphy. Calligraphy, or shufa in Chinese, is not just a means of communication, but an art form that captures the spirit and rhythm of the Chinese language. 
Its beauty lies not only in the characters themselves, but in the grace and fluidity with which they are written. Each stroke is a dance, a harmonious blend of precision, spontaneity, and control. To master calligraphy is to master patience, concentration, and the ability to find tranquility amidst chaos. It is a form of meditation, a journey of self-discovery and self-expression. In Chinese culture, calligraphy is highly revered, embodying the values of discipline, perseverance, and respect for tradition. It's a testament to the Chinese philosophy of balance, harmony, and the beauty of simplicity. In China, calligraphy is more than an art. It's a language that speaks to the soul. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave your comments and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating explorations.